Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh. Students, today we are going to do financial awareness for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3 for the month of June 2024, right? And this session includes the RBI guidelines for the month of June 2024. Jitne bhi RBI guidelines aayi hai, uske bhi MCQs aaj hum karne wale hai, right? Let's start the session. Before starting, let me tell you, uh, team bank exams today has prepared IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3 2024 course in which we are providing video classes, notes, test series and interview preparation guidance. Link to join the course is available in the description. You can check the description and this is the WhatsApp number where you can ask your doubts. Okay, let's start the session with the question number one. Okay. What is the new mandatory facility? introduced by IRDI for life insurance saving products. So it's a simple scheme uh, that IRDI, you know, uh, man mandated the insurance company to provide. So this is what we Policy loan facility. The policy holders can now take loans against policy. This feature provide karna padega. Which Indian company ranked the highest? In the Kantar brand Z most valuable global brands 2024 report, TCS is a company, right? Let's move forward. Sahitya Ak uh, Academy Bal Sahitya Puraskar. This is for children's literature category, right? As per the Global Peace Index, what is the rank of India? 116. That is important. Please remember that. 116th. Okay. Uh, what was the primary purpose of MOU signed between Ministry of External Affairs and State Bank of India to improve the digital payment options for the users of e-migrate portal? So e-migrate portal is in the news so that everything that is related to e-migrate portal is important. What recent initiative has the Jharkhand government undertaken to support farmers Waiving the agricultural loans up to 2 lakh rupee. Now that is important. The government of Jharkhand waived agricultural loans up to 2 lakh rupees and now that is very very important. The Post Office Act 2023 came into force on 18th of June 2024. Which state government uh, headquarters in India became the first eco-friendly one on 16th June 2024? That is the Assam. Assam government's uh, headquarter government's headquarter it became the first one that became eco-friendly what is the title given to women who are trained and certified under krishi sakhi uh, convergence program uh, that uh, the name is krishi uh, sakhi the prime minister narendra modi he granted the certificates to more than 30,000 women from self-help groups and designated them uh, krishi sakhis let's move forward what is the minimum net worth requirement for a self-regulatory organization uh, to obtain recognition from RBI? I have done this RBI circular. This is important from RBI circular. SRO ki minimum net worth requirement kya hai? That is 2 crore rupees. Okay. As per the new norms of SEBI for IPOs, during the pre-open call auction, investors can place bids for how long before the trading begins? One hour, it's not important. What is the primary goal of MOU signed between the National Highways Authority of India and Indraprast Institute of Technology? Enhance road safety through better road signage uh, management using AI. Enhance road safety through better road signage management using AI. NHAI and IIIT Delhi, uh, Indraprast Institute of Information Technology, mein MOU. Hoa tha. Now they are going to, you know, uh, with the help of AI, they want to enhance the road safety through better signage. As per the SBI report, how much of the Indian economy has become formal between financial year 2016 and 2023? 26 trillion rupees. Rupees 26 trillion, it's economy formal. Ho chuki hai. Thanks to the digital payment ecosystem. What is the primary objective of National Forensic Infrastructure Enhancement Scheme approved by Union Cabinet Strengthening the Forensic Infrastructure in India Who launched the website and mobile application for World Food India 2024? Sri Chirag Paswan Chirag Paswan, Union Minister of Food Processing Industry 
सो प्लीज रिमेंबर यू नीड टू रीड द लिस्ट ऑफ लेटेस्ट कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स जो भी लेटेस्ट कैबिनेट मिनिस्टर्स बने हैं उसकी लिस्ट को आप एक बार पढ़ लें गो थ्रू कर लें कई बार पेपर में आता है राइट right? What is the rank of India in the Global Energy Transition Index released by WEF? First of all, please remember ki Global Energy Transition Index is released by WEF. This is itself an important question. World Economic Forum they release Global Energy Transition Index and India's rank is 63. India's rank is 63 out of 120 countries. Which national award did Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank? Karnataka Vikas Gramin Bank they received from PFRDA, Pension Fund Regulatory and Development Authority. Please remember the full form of PFRDA, right? They received the award for highest enrollment award for the Atal Pension Yojana. For the Atal Pension Yojana, uh, they received this award. What is the main objective of the MOU signed between Certain and Mastercard? Not that important, but anyways, to strengthen the financial sector cyber security incident response. Okay, not that important. Government ke MOUs zada important hain. Government institutions ke. Which government ministry organized the first national additive manufacturing symposium? In 2024, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. Okay, NAMS. Who's the new convener of the GST rate rationalization um, GM as of the recent reconstitution in, in uh, February? Samrat Chaudhary, right? According to the United Nations Conference on Trade and Development uh, World Investment Report 2024, what was the India's rank in global FDI recipient countries in 2023? After the decline, India India's rank was fifteenth. What is the uniform GST now? This kind these kind of questions are important. GST rate on the milk cans it is twelve percent. Okay, very important. What does the economic uh, economic ONDC stands for? Very important. Open Network for Digital Commerce. Okay, it's important. Please remember. Uh, anywhere where I'm marking the star, those questions are very very important. Which country has recently become the world's third largest domestic airline market according to OAG official airline guide India became the third largest domestic airline market okay Which organization recognized Srinagar as world craft city It is World Craft Council World Craft Council recognized Srinagar as world craft city Which ministry launched Safai Apnao Bimari Bhagao Initiative, Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. Important question. Which organization is partnering with the RBI to host uh, Harbinger 2024? It's Apex. Apex is partnering with RBI. It's a hackathon uh, focused on driving innovation in financial sector. Who was honored with the Risk Manager of the Year Award 2024 by Central Banking in London? It's RBI. Now this question is very very important. What is insider trading? Trading based upon uh, what is? I mean, it is not trading based upon. This is wrong answer. Trading based upon confidential and non-public information is insider trading. B is not the correct answer. A is the correct answer. Trading based upon uh, insider information, non-public confidential information, and it is illegal in India. So B is not the correct answer. A is the correct answer. According to the new SEBI norms, who needs to appear uh, approve an insider trading plan? A compliance officer. He does that. Okay. According to recent data by RBI, what uh, was the current account deficit as a percentage of GDP in the financial year 2024? It's just 0.7 percent. Very good number. 0.7 percent is the current account deficit. What does HDFC Bank Smart Wealth allow you to invest in? Uh, using the HDFC Smart Wealth, you can invest in mutual funds, bank deposits, stocks, and bonds. Okay. As per SEBI, what is the minimum premium a company must offer to public shareholders for delisting under the new rules? So they must offer fifteen percent, fifteen percent premium if they want to delist their shares. Okay. 
which district will receive a this is an important rbi circular and very very important question this is an rbi ki guideline very important guideline most important circular for the month of june uh, which district will receive a higher weightage for incremental psl priority sector lending credit uh, from year 2024-2025 onwards districts with per capita uh, psl less than 9000 rupees now inka jo weightage hai that would be more their weightage would be 125 percent and district with per capita greater than 42000 unka rahega 90 percent unko weightage milegi 90 percent and if per capita psl is less than 9000 they are uh, you know underserved uh, priority sector lending uh, districts the weightage whatever the loans psl loans given to these districts the weightage would be 125 uh, percent for example a loan of one lakh rupee given in the underprivileged uh, you know district that would be considered as rupees one lakh twenty five thousand towards the achievement of priority sector lending loans whereas if uh, uh, in a district uh, where per capita PSL is more than 42,000 a loan of rupees 1 lakh given PSL loan given in this district would be considered as 90,000 rupee loan towards the achievement of PSL priority sector lending norms okay so this is the question very important so what weight would be assigned for incremental priority sector lending credit in district with higher credit flow higher credit flow what is the limit 42,000 please remember 40 if per uh, capita priority sector lending is more than 42,000 uh, it, it is a higher credit flow district if it is less than 9,000 per capita it is lower credit flow uh, district okay so weightage of 90 90% uh, would be for the higher credit flow district and 125% for lower credit flow districts okay very important question what facility did RBI extend to AD category one bank? Uh, so they allowed them uh, these banks to use additional current account for both export and import transaction. Previously, they didn't allow them to use the same account for import and export, but now it is allowed use the same bank account for uh, ex import and export transactions. Which central government received 23.7 uh, million dollar uh, LOC line of credit from Exim Bank for the procurement of two Hindustan uh, aircraft from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. This is the uh, government of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, right? They received the LOC. What is the revised threshold now? That is really important question. All these RBA guidelines questions are really, really important. Whatever the questions that we are doing now, they are very, very important bulk deposit the definition of bulk deposit has been changed for scheduled commercial banks it used to be three uh, two crores but now it is three crores so bulk deposit the rate of interest on fds uh, up to three crore it would be different for uh, on uh, three crore or more it would be different okay so any fd above three crore rupee would be considered as bulk deposit in commercial banks in rural bank the definition of bulk deposit is different it is one crore rupee in the rural banks bulk deposit means any fd above one crore rupee that is uh, bulk deposit okay what recent change has rbi made regarding overseas investment by the indian investors and companies remove the restriction on type of instrument and funds okay now they can invest in any instrument and fund but obviously there are some limitation as per the uh, liberalized remittance scheme LRS ki uh, limits hai, investments ki limits hai. approvals are required from RBI but no limit on which kind of uh, investment you are making right so I hope you like the today's session we have covered all the RBI guidelines for the month of June we have covered all the financial awareness for the month of June we try to cover a major portion but still a lot of things you need to cover from a course IVPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3 course. It's available on bankexamstudy.com. Links are available in the description. We provide video classes, live sessions, weekly quizzes, notes, test series and the interview preparation guidance. Links are available in the description. Please check the course. If there is any doubt in your mind, you can just drop your WhatsApp message. I'm going to answer your doubts. Every day I answer, right? No issues. 
So that's all for today, students. I hope you like the today's session. List of our successful students in the past. All these students that took our courses in the past for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale Two, and Scale Three, Twenty Twenty Three. All these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams, and I'm really, really happy for them. And you can be one of them in the future, and you will be one of them in the future for sure. And that's all for today, students. Thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye bye.